You big nuns! Well, hello, big nonces. It's me, Dog Bomb. It's Friday, but it's no ordinary Friday. It's Friday the 27th of the 7th, 2012. Um, which means it's it's the first day of the of the Olympics. I don't know about you, but I'm well excited. It's the big opening ceremony tonight. Um, everybody's going to be gathered around the television. Parents, siblings, children, the whole family. We're all going to be watching the television, watching the opening ceremony, and we're all going to be thinking one thing. Oh, I hope, I hope something goes wrong. I hope something goes wrong so that we can all laugh about it and talk about it. And it's also um, a Friday, which means it's time for another indie game review for you big nuns. This week I'm doing this game. You can't tell because there's no uh, title screen type thing. Well, there is a title screen, but there's no title on the title screen. Which is what title screens are for. That's a fail right there. I'm playing this game. It might say in the credits. Hang on. Does it say what the game is? No. It just says the creator's Mike Bittell. Bith... Bithell? 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 I don't know. But he's made this game. It's called Thomas Was Alone. You might remember Thomas Was Alone because I've reviewed it before. Um, if you want to see that review, click here. Um, I reviewed it a year, nine months and three days ago. Um, and back then I said, and I did say this, I said I would rather stick ballpoint pens in my eye holes than to play this terrible game again. So what I've done is I've got some ballpoint pens here on my desk, um, ready to jam into my eye holes in case of, of, of such a thing. Um, fingers crossed I don't have to use them because they are quite pointy. Um, why have I reviewed it again? I've never done this before. I've never reviewed a game again. It's because I keep getting comments on my on my on my pages. Um, I get three three different comments. One one comment is um um this isn't a review. It's a let's play or it's a playthrough. Uh, whatever. I I play games. This sort of review things. I, I talk about them. Fuck you. Um, and the other thing that people say is, WTF? Is, is that your real voice? Yes, it is my real voice. Fuck you. And the third thing is, um, please review Thomas uh, was alone again. Uh, because it's gotten better since the last time you review it. Uh, fuck you as well, but I am going to do that last thing. But, but still, fuck you. Anyway, I'm running out of time. I'll crack on. Thomas was alone. Let's see if it's gotten any better from when it was shit back in the day. <clears throat> the program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas, A.T. Fucking hell. It's ran out of... Was alone. There's a voice. A weird first thought to have. There's a voice. Cutting in. When I'm trying to talk, there's a voice cutting in. I don't like that in games, voices cutting in. <coughs> but it seems to have gone, so let's crack on. Here we go. So I'm using... To start listing his Bloody hell. I'm using the arrow keys. Um, but you can also use the, the was keys if you want. Oh, here he goes. He's chatting loads here. Portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. He's just chatting. Three. I know that voice. That's um, absolutely fantastic. That's uh, Danny Wallace. Um, Danny Wallace is famous in the UK. Um, he's famous for um, for, for for wearing glasses and also being a bit of a geek. Um, and being Dave Gorman's friend. That's that's what he's most famous for. Um. I'm sure he's done other shit. He's, he's done this game as well. He's, he's voiced this game, so he's, he's kind of famous for that as well. What if there was some kind of inverted? Now, uh, he's trying to tell me how to play the game, which is a shame because I've already played it. So I already know this. Shit. I know how to jump. Worked. Thomas had solved the. So he doesn't really need to do that. I, I do remember it, even though it was one year, nine months, and three days ago. I do still remember how to jump. Want him to fail here. It was pushing him. So, um, and the other thing I've noticed is everything seems a little bit skew with. Everything seems a bit a on a bit of a wonk. So, fuck me, it's all collapsing. 
Um, excuse me while I just um, escape the weird collapsing level. Ooh. Um, everything seems a bit wonky. Like if I had a glass of beer, it would all be spilled. I've had a couple of glasses of beer. Like he was making progress. That could be why it's all wonky. If this is all straight at the moment, you're watching this video and it's all straight, just ignore me. Um, just enjoy the straightness. I, I've got wonkiness on my screen, but it could just be the drink. I'll find out tomorrow when I'm sober and I watch this back. Um, whoa, fell down. He wondered why now, was the world testing. I'm trying to think back as to why I hated this game back in the back in the day. Um one of the things was the graphics. Toxic glowing um, Now they've definitely improved the graphics. Because there's, there's I don't know if you can see it on your on your screen, but there's like a pattern in the background, which is nice. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or It's like a flashy pattern that wasn't in the original. Um, there's also this cool effect when you jump into the light rays. It makes like a shadow. Can you see that off off off, uh, off the block there? It's like a like a shadowy effect. I'm liking that a lot. It reminds me of an uh, of an iPhone game which I can't remember. But it's about vampires. Somebody will know it. I'm sure. But that had lots of shadows in. The world this chap keeps cutting in. Oh, fucking fell in the he water. Could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the so there's that. There's the shadows thing. He'd become a there's also jumper. one of my problems with the original game was the the lack of um, characterization of the block because it was just a block and it still is just a block. There was kind of no characterization, but. That's been fixed! Um, I'll show you in this level. Hang about, there's some sort of cutscene. I submitted hundreds of bug reports! I told that idiot this would happen! Overlapping scripts! More than one AI was born bound to spawn into an environment at some point! Turns out I'm a fucking. Uh, that goes too fast, so I can't read it out. Hang on, Christopher. Who's Christopher? This Thomas think he was? Christopher must be the little fat one. Um, what one of my problems was before was there was no characterization. Um, but this time there's like a little jump animation. When you jump, there's like he goes a bit skinnier, and it, it I don't know, it just adds a little something to the characters. Chris um, had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest. So jumper, this is the little fat one. Even been graceful and you can see he's like he's jumping about and uh, not actually not technically graceful for, for the wrong word but you know can he fine can I get across there so. skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place I'm sw I'm switching back there to Thomas you, you switch with the Q and the E keys it says that on the screen if you can't read if you're a bit stupid um fuck you jump with the Q and the E keys. Um, you don't. No, did I say jump? I can't. I'm. I'm. I'm very drunk. Anyway, you switch with the Q and the E keys between the characters. Now I managed to get the fat one down to this area. Now another of my things that I said about the original game was the, there was no thought at all. In fact, I think. I remember rightly, there was no sound at all. So there was no thought had gone into the sound. It was just bare quiet. Um, but now, there's music in the background. Listen to that. That's beautiful. Um, and there's obviously the voice of, of Danny Wallace. That's, that's there for you to listen to. Um, and the sounds when you jump as well, like jumpy sounds. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing. So, all the things that I found wrong with the game originally have pretty much been fixed. Was this good? Because on the surface, if I was being a bit of a dick, 
Chris was pretty I probably scared. would stay. Red said said that, mm, to be on his I probably would say if I could speak. Um, through my drunkenness, I probably would say it's still a bit worse. basic. Thomas had joined him. Um, I'm sure he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but, but um, where did that got him? Sorry, I was listening to the chat there. I was getting involved in the game. Platforms, which was sort of his point. It is quite basic still, though. You've got these little square characters. There's just something a bit more, the the addition of the music, and the sounds, hatred. and the uh, so very happy ooh, their situation. moving platform Friends there, together, I'll jump on here. Brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine, but it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little... Hmm from the vaulting idiot. There's some kind the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. There's some kind of um like narrative strand now. Uh, there was before, but I think the addition of the voiceover and the music oh fucking hell. Everything just seems to add a little bit something to the game. That's commendable. I like that. Um, I jump up. Fucking keep landing in the water like an idiot. The puzzles st still aren't that taxing, if I'm honest. Still pretty basic on the puzzle front. Oh, look at this! Look at this! There's a tall one. Right. John. He knew that this was his chance. He's the tall one. To shine. John. This was game day. Um, right. Stick the tall one there, get the fat one. Up. Can't get Thomas up, hang on. Fat one, you stand there. Thomas, you get in. Fat one. Booyah! Booyah! This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. So there are... He was Trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. There's a bunch of uh, like puzzles. Where do they come from anyway? Where you need to all help each other, which is which is nice. I don't know if you get any more little characters, but at the minute I've got little fatty, tall, skinny, John and the and, and, air of the open space, and it's and um, Thomas. I'll call him Thomas now. He's he's kind of endeared himself. Muscles. To, to be a little bit training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. Look at that, that's beautiful. John decided to press the switch. Let's get fatty over there. Let's get fatty first. Is he called Chris? The fat one, I can't remember. You could tell from I don't want to come to attach them. I've never gotten attached to a these years. a cube before. Or any sort of um shape. I, don't, I, don't, I know this is the first time for everything, but I don't want to actually like these little fuckers. Get him. There. I quite like Thomas though, he's, he's the red one. He's the name of the game. I think that's probably why I like him. Because he's the name of the game. Get the fat one down here. Get the skinny one down first. Now the fat one. But uh, Thomas down there as well. The fat one can't move very well without the others, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move him first. This is my tip to you if you're playing this game. Try and move the fat one first, because he's not very good. I say that, but he got to the end first. Well done, little fat one. Well done. Skinny one in place. Boom! I'm on 1.9 at the moment. And I think I've got to use all of the characters to press that button right. 
was happy to keep helping. He's up there. He He's happy. It was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. And now I'm using the little guys to get under. Brilliant. Um. I'm, I'm confused right hang on I'm confused escape because I'm running out of time and I want to get back to the main menu so I'm not just I was getting distracted by the game it had it, it sucked me in I wasn't expecting that um, Thomas was alone sucked me in if you want to see my original review um, see how much of a dick I was click on that box there um, and you can watch the original review otherwise Click below, find out about the game. Um, it's lovely. It's about five dollars or five pounds or five space dollars. It's some sort of some sort of amount of money to buy, and you can do it and you can buy it and you can play it and you can uh, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong. I think it's quite a good game now. One year, nine months, and three days ago, I didn't think that, um, but then I hadn't had as much to drink as I have tonight. So, enjoy that. Enjoy Thomas Was Alone. Um, enjoy your Olympics. Enjoy your Olympic weekend. Um, I'll be back next week in the middle of the Olympics. How exciting. Hopefully something's gone wrong so I can talk about it. Um, and I'll see you next week for another Indie Game Review. Bye for now, big nonsense. Bye for now.